Okay, uh, Lamenting 101. Um, so, uh, you may be wondering why I have been asked to, um, to do this workshop, and that is a very legitimate question. Um, just to give a little personal context, um, my, uh, mom passed away about five years ago, um, and, um, and that was a very hard time for me, um, I think it would be hard for anyone, uh, but, uh, and I'm not an exception, so I'll say that, um, but, uh, maybe maybe a year ago or so, um, I had a friend give me a book that uh, was on the topic of of biblical laments. It's called uh, I think it's called Dark Clouds, Deep Mercy, um, and uh, it was a, a really helpful book. and And when he gave it to me, he suggested that I begin to write laments, and it was something that he had started to do. And that he found uh, to be um, just really helpful for himself. And, and um, you know, he's had a couple hard things lately. Um, one of which his daughter going through a very uh, nasty divorce. Um, but um, And so he, he began writing these laments. And, and he found that uh, just, just a, a lot of healing from it. And um, so he suggested that I do the same. Um, and I... I started writing, uh, and, and I'm not a huge journaler, I'll say that, uh, you know, from, from, you know, since I was younger, I, I've tried journaling a few times and um, have never found much success in it, um, but uh, there is something to writing and, and just kind of slowing your brain down, um, putting yourself in a position where you have to think through kind of what's coming out of you, um, and so... Uh, I began to write, and um, these laments were uh, just very helpful um, for me to write. Um, and then, you know, I shared that song a couple weeks ago, um, and that came out of some of my writing. So, um, but so lamenting, well, let's talk about, you know, what what is it, um, and why should we lament? Um, so out of the 150 psalms in the book of Psalms, there are about, um, I think it's like 44 out of them are, are laments or classified as laments. So that's about a third. Um, so it must be important. Um, it must be something that the psalmist or the psalmists, however many there were, um, thought to be, you know, legitimate enough to to put in the book of Israel's, um, hymn book. Um, and, and we might ask ourselves, you know, well, what's the difference between lamenting and just grieving or the grieving process, um, or, or maybe even just complaining. Um, so, you know, there, there are different ways to deal with grief or pain or even injustices or, uh, you know, any other form of things that, that we could, uh, be upset about, um, but lamenting is a, a very uniquely Jewish and and then Christian by inheritance um, practice of prayer, um, and it, it's it's the way that we bring our sorrow to God. Um, it ends in our reaffirming um, our trust in God, um, and it exists in kind of this tension between. Um, not feeling ourselves trusting in God, but confirming it um, regardless of how we feel. So, I, God, I trust you even though I don't feel this right now. Um, so, the biblical laments follow kind of a, a pattern. It's not a formula um, because all of them, they don't all do it. Um, and, and some of them will kind of combine steps of the formula. It's not It's not like a... It has to be this way. Um, and so for us, as we, you know, begin to think, you know, how can I join the the Bible, the, the writers of the Bible in doing this? Um, these are, these are I found to be, you know, pretty for, straightforward, um, helpful steps 
Um, and I will also say, just before getting into the steps, these are things that we can do corporately um, or, or even just one one on one kind of a thing like sometimes having a partner or a wingman or you know whatever you want to call it somebody to help us um bring our sorrow before the lord <clears throat> so here's the pattern uh, the first thing is is addressing god um so we're not just crying out in general we're crying out to someone and that someone is god um and and this can frequently be a very difficult step um because it, it requires a resolve. Um, we have to actually resolve within ourselves to talk to God, um, even amidst the deep hurt that we're experiencing. And, and that's, a, that's a very hard thing a lot of the time for, for maybe many of us. Um, and so don't, you know, don't overlook that. Address God. Don't just like sort of throw it out there. You know, tell it to God. Um, the second thing, the second step is um, bring your complaint. Um, so the complaint is kind of a, a general word that um, it it's meant to move us towards God, not away from Him. And so uh, we're we're trying to intimately reveal our hurt and frustration. You know, He knows it, but we need to tell Him. Um, and and I would say, you know, He can handle our strong words. He can handle our anger. Um, but at the same time, he's God. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of, it, it's wise to hold both of those things in mind. Um, personally, you know, when my mom passed away, I, I said things to God that now I, I regret doing. Um, but at the same time, God has not given up on me. And I uh, and extremely thankful for that. Um, and here we can, you know, use scripture. Uh, sometimes that will put words to what we're feeling maybe better than we can. Um, or if we don't know how to express something. Um, or, or a good short complaint maybe could be, uh, God, I know you aren't blank. But right now, it feels like you are. Um, and, and in this process of complaining, bringing our complaint to God, we separate what we feel to be true from what actually is true. And we're taking those two things and, and we're juxtaposing them to see, you know, this is, this is what I feel to be true and this is what I actually believe to be true because frequently those things we don't, you just kind of subconsciously, like, it's all the same. Um, so step three, um, a turn towards trust. Um, this is the turning point of the lament. Um, and frequently, it in the Psalms, it's kind of the way, the place where you can tell there's a change in the tenor of the of the psalm. Um, it's coming boldly before the throne, um, asking to see or to uh, to hear, to know um, God in, in a different way or on a deeper level. Um, some of the, the common requests of, of this turn are give me help or give us help um, or please bring your justice. Um, don't hold my sins against me, like Psalm 51, have mercy on me, um, create in me a clean heart, don't remember my sin. Um, or, or maybe another one is, or, you know, listen to me, um, or let me know that you're listening to me, that you hear me. Um, those are all very, uh, for me, have been helpful things. Um, and then the last part is to express trust or praise um and this is where i think you know where there's a this is where we can kind of see the the intimate relationship between the lamenting and the and the worship theme that we're looking at um we can affirm what we know to be true about god even when our suffering calls it into question um 
because because frequently you know we we know something to be true but we live differently or or we act differently um and and it may be even as simple as god i choose to trust you right now in this moment maybe five minutes from now i, I can't handle that anymore um but right now i'm going to and 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 then coming back to that in five minutes or whatever um and again like this might be uh, a helpful time or a helpful section to um echo the trust and the praise sections of the biblical laments if we can't find our own or even if we just can't find anything you know nice to say to god um if we can't find something to express that is you know I, god i can trust you in this um so again i would i would just say you know try if if you feel god is is you know putting this on your heart or you're just going through some type of grief try this um try writing something like this um and if you feel like you can't pray it to god again ask somebody to help you ask a close friend somebody who knows you well maybe somebody from your cell group whatever um to to help you um the guy who gave me the book walked through the death of my mom with me and that was that was an extremely powerful um uh just helpful thing for me i remember sitting in a starbucks you know bawling my eyes out um uh with this guy after my mom passed away and and he we just sat there and i just and i just cried um and and that was uh that was you know probably pretty uncomfortable for some of the other patrons but uh very helpful for me um so um a, a couple little factoids before i'm done here uh laments give us um, the framework for trusting in God, even in the midst of grief, um, because frequently I think we just sort of say bad things are happening, God doesn't care, or he he's not here. Um, I can't trust in God. Clear, clearly, clearly, bad things are happening. God doesn't care, um, and the, and the Bible doesn't allow for that uh, possibility um, because of the lament. They say, okay, bad things are happening. I'm going to reaffirm my trust in God. I'm going to complain about it to God and let him know, you know, how I'm feeling in this. But I'm going to trust God in the midst of this. Um, and, and then on the flip side of that, because, because it's a relational thing between God and us, uh, it gives God a chance to respond to us however he chooses. And sometimes that's silence. Sometimes that is uh you know coming down and and like with job he comes in the midst of a whirlwind um the earth is shaking um and you know i i would imagine that's a pretty terrifying thing um and then also uh as little christs um aka christians uh we aim to be like jesus and and he modeled lamenting um, you know, we have, uh, he wept when his friend Lazarus died. Um, he wept over Jerusalem. Um, that, that may be, uh, one of the more sort of unjust type things. Um, and then also if you look in, in, on the cross in Matthew 27, it talks about him, uh, saying, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And that's a, that's a direct quote, uh, from Psalm 22, which is a very powerful lament. Um, and we're told he was acquainted with our grief in Isaiah, Isaiah 53. And and this may not be helpful in an intense moment of grieving, but it, it is really a firm foundation in times of, you know, more clarity, uh, more sanity. Um, so hopefully this is helpful. Um, there will be attached... Uh, a form with the four steps and um, Psalm 13 um, kind of broken down into those those sections um, so 
you know, please take time to try to do this if this is something that you think will be helpful. They are really only helpful insofar as we actually take the time to practice lamenting. Um, you know, I heard the story, we can, we can, you know, do classes on prayers. We'll, we'll go to the classes on prayers or, you know, on, on whatever spiritual formation or, or these other things. But they're only helpful if we take the time and, and do them. So, um, you know, please, please take time, even, even as a group, in cell group or whatever. Um, you don't need to spur something up that's sad, but if you have a legitimate thing to talk about, um, take that to Jesus. So, thanks.